Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if this is your, if you've been here before, welcome if you're new here. My name is Priscilla Bernstein. I'm the Soul Alignment Specialist. I am a conduit, a medium, psychic medium, and a conduit for the divine and for spirit. And I am also a spiritual mentor and I'm here to help you align to your soul's truth and get you back on track with what your soul wants. I do this through my offerings of uh, channeling and card readings or working one-on-one -on -one with my clients. Um, I also offer a ton of free content on my Instagram and uh, I have a Patreon as well where you can work a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with me for a fraction of the cost. And not only does this help support me, but it helps support you on your journey. So that is why I am here. Um, this is going to be Leo's reading for November. Happy 11-11. I was trying to finish this up a couple days ago, but the energies were so dense leading up to this portal that it's like a release on the collective of all the heavy, dense, old paradigm, old programs that we have been working through. So I'm really excited to kind of be in this portal opening and be on the other side of it. So let's see, uh, dear Leo, what November has in store for you. All right, thank you, Infinite Spirit, Divine Creator, for allowing me to be a conduit, not only for those that are watching this channel, but for all my beautiful Leo babes out there and allowing me to bring in all the information, the highest and best that they need at this time. So Leo, let's see, Spirit, if you can tell us what is energetically in store for my beautiful Leos this month. What is energetically in store? Oops. We're just going to take that first, these first two cards that fell out, three cards. We got the five of wands, I'm sorry, the ten of wands, the mother of wands, and the high priestess. All right, so what do my beautiful Leos have to look forward to, Spirit? Take them all, okay. We got the Ace of Wands, upright, the Fool, upright, the Seven of Cups, reversed, the Three of Wands, or Pentacles, excuse me, and the Three of Wands, so Three of Pentacles and Three of Wands. Um, okay, and what are the challenges or lessons that my dear, beautiful Leo Lion Babes are facing this month? Judgment, the Three of Swords, oof, and the Seven of Swords. All right, and let's see, what is the spiritual guidance for my beautiful Leos? The Mother of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And what is the overall energy that my Leos will be moving into? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. We got the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Emperor reversed, and the Devil card upright. Okay, so let me pull some clarifiers for you, my beautiful babes, real quick. Before we get really in-depth into the reading to just see where this is going. All right, can I get a clarifier for the energy that's in store this month? Fertility, the waiting game, and then deception and envy reversed. Hmm, you guys got, we're already doubling up on some cards here. Can I get a clarifier of what my Leos have to look forward to, please, Spirit? I just saw the lover's card. Let's see if it flies out. What do my beautiful Leos have to look forward to? Clarifier on the cards that have already fallen. Passion ignited and trapped in fear reversed. All right, what are the challenges or lessons? Can we get clarifiers on those? Thank you, Spirit. Balance reversed, heart chakra upright, and authority reversed. Oof, okay. 
feel like Leos, you guys are going through quite a bit and moving through a lot. This is good. Okay, and so what is the spiritual guidance? Can we get a clarifier on the spiritual guidance, please? Can I get a clarifier on this throat chakra? No, I'm sorry, on this mother of pentacles. We got the throat chakra and disruption, both upright. And then can I get a clarifier on the overall energy that my Leo's moving into? Thank you, Spirit, for throwing those out. Triumph, which is the chariot card. Conflict and defeat and stand your ground. All right, let's get into your reading, Leo. All right, so what energetically is in store for you this month? We have the Ten of Wands, the Mother of Wands, and the High Priestess. And then with the clarifiers, you guys got Fertility, which is um, the Empress, the Waiting Game, And then deception and envy reversed. So let me sit with this for a second. Okay, Leo, what I'm getting is um, maybe Okay, more than anything, like, something's coming to light where somebody deceived you or there was something where there was a mask being worn and it is being taken off now. And with that, you're having to trust your instincts. You're having to trust that internal knowing, that connection to all that is and your intuitive um abilities at this time there's uh with this ten of wands and then this mother of wands it's like this energy of like coming out of the dark or like the wool has been pulled over your eyes in some way shape or form and and now you're you're guarded you're a bit more guarded you're a bit more like um taking care of your own right you've got this mother this snake mother over her eggs guarding them with the big wand across it due to whatever this was this deception and envy of like being in the dark and and having the wool pulled over your eyes it's like you're listening to your instincts you're learning or you're needing to listen to your instincts and you're learning to um really trust your heart her heart's all lit up here you're learning how to really trust your heart and really trust in in all that you're receiving at this time because you know something hasn't been right and it's like you're looking into your crystal ball you're we just came out we're in this crescent moon now and we're coming into a partial lunar eclipse on the 18th 19th um and so it's going to be a waiting game. This is going to take as long as it needs to take. Let it unfold, okay? Beautiful Leo, let it unfold. There's some stuff that you're navigating. It might be a little heavy for the time being. And when we go through lunar eclipses, um, the earth is in between the sun and the moon and casting a shadow on the moon, not letting all the light from the sun uh, be shown on it. And so we become disconnected from our outside resources right and we really have to tune inward so it's like you're you're tuning inward you're trusting that crystal ball you're trusting your intuition stay i don't want to say stay guarded in a way where you're closed off but like really listen to your heart and acknowledge what feels good and what doesn't and if something is amiss if something feels off really pay attention to that start asking questions and just know it's gonna unfold. What you guys got a little further in, um, what you have to look forward to this month. No, it was in the uh, challenges or lessons that you're facing. That's gonna explain, let me jump to that one actually. Um, so the challenges and lessons that you're facing this month, that seat and envy again. This is a seven of swords. Then there's a three of swords. Like maybe somebody has been lying to you about another situation that they've been in, another relationship that they're in, but judgment is coming for them. 
uh, things are gonna be righted, the wrongs are gonna be righted. So just know that balance will come, trust your heart center, and even though this is gonna be hard for you right now to be this emperor, to be in your like authority, you're gonna have to learn how to set some really freaking healthy boundaries and um, not only for other people, but for yourself as well. It's going back to that kind of like queen of wands, that guardedness of like guarding your, your what is true and what is close to your heart, right? Accessing your heart center, knowing that balance is coming, but it's gonna take you being this quote unquote like authoritarian in your realm. But just know that, um, yeah, this is some, like, I don't even know that this has really come to light yet, but there might be something that you've been feeling amiss. So just know that, um, that this is going to, the light will be shown on it, judgment will be served, and, and it's all coming to light, okay? So what you have to look forward to is coming out of this trapped and this entrapment and fear and your passion igniting, your heart being lit again and you stepping into this like newfound freedom of like, oh God, I knew, I knew something wasn't right. And so with that, you get the Ace of Wands, you get a new beginning, new action, you get to take new action, you get the Fool here where you're taking a leap of faith, you're stepping out on your own, you're doing something that feels better to you because you finally released whatever that was. You're moving out of this mask, out of this like all these choices that, you know, are kind of being hidden from you and you're moving into teamwork. You're moving into collaboration. You're moving into a new portal of energy into something so, so good, but you have to let the chips kind of fall as they may right now and know that, that once you do, once you release whatever this is, and just so you know, eclipse season we're in it and eclipse season really helps to shine light on the things that were um, in the dark and bring it into the light, whether it's truth or not truth. That's all coming through with this eclipse season. And it's a time where huge shifts happen, radical shifts happen to either get you back in alignment with your, your destined path and to remove things that are not in alignment with your destined path. So just know that this is going to release you out of this entrapment and you're gonna be ignited and stepping into something so new. Your heart's gonna be on fire after this. Like you're gonna feel like this is a breath of fresh air, even though there might be a little bit of a grieving process, but it's gonna be like, ugh, fuck, I knew, I knew it. Like. And this is going to really teach you how to trust your gut, how to trust your instincts. And so what is the spiritual guidance? Yeah, disruption. Some disruption is coming into your reality. This is like the tower moment, right? Where it's like this was a foundation for you. This was something that, that you'd been holding on to maybe a little bit too long. But it's like the this structure, this foundation had to crumble so you could be in your truth, speak your truth. And the mother of pentacles, this is about coming back into alignment, coming back into service, coming back into balance with who you are in the world, who you are as this nurturer, as this lover, as this, you know, you don't want to be this protective person where you're closed off. You want to be open. You want to be nurturing, but you want to be able to do so in a way that it's like you don't have to feel like like you're protective, right? Like you can be open. You can have an open heart. This is all coming for you, but it's you learning how to really trust and speak your truth. Um that is spirits asking you to speak your truth, to really get into your heart center and to let this tower moment happen. Whether or not it has happened yet, something like this is coming in for you. And just know that these are timeless readings and they're collective readings, but I could be channeling for someone in particular too. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. 
Um, be sure to watch your other rising and moon signs because if this is more of a channel message for one person in particular and is not resonating with you, there may be something else with your other signs too. So the overall energy that you're going to be stepping into, Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Devil, these two were reversed and then the Devil was upright. The Devil's never a negative card. This is talking about coming out of the superficiality. This is talking about releasing the mask. This is talking about coming out of bondage. Like when we are in bondage, that's when this devil card comes up and we're coming out of that. The overall energy that you're moving into is the light is being shown on where you have been chained down, where you have been um, bound and gag and gagged and in bondage, right? Like this, um, this throat chakra card here tells me that you've been gagged in some way. You've been like closing off your throat chakra, your truth. You haven't been speaking your truth fully. And so we've got the emperor reverse and the ace of pentacles reverse. I wish these were upright, but what I'm getting is not so much that it's the opposite of this, but it's like you're learning how to, it's like, you're not going to be the strong standing tree afterwards. You're not going to be this like beginning here. It's, it's almost like you're going to be, it's like you're going to be the seed again, the acorn, and you need to be planted. You need to be nurtured. You need to take care of yourself in a way that you don't have to be this like strong presence in the world. But just know that if you stand your ground, whatever conflict and the defeat is, is coming, you can get through this very, very, very triumphantly. Like you will get through this and you will prevail. But in the end, it's releasing this mask. It's releasing the heaviness. It's releasing the things that weren't in alignment, the superficial things that your ego wanted, that your soul's like, nah, -uh, no more. We're done with that. And from that, you're moving into this, like, you're moving into a stronger period, but you're going to be the eight. Oh, look here, even there's a solar eclipse. So maybe by the solar eclipse on December 4th, you will be in this more acorn phase of like planting and nurturing, deciding what the new beginning is that you want, but you're going to have to go through it this month. You have to ultimately, the only way out is through, and that's what's happening this month for you. So... That's a beautiful reading, um, my dear Leos. And just know, I mean, you're a fucking lion. You can get through this. Usually this, um, I'm surprised the strength card isn't here, but it's like, you're already strong. You're already strong, Leo. Like you just have to really own your voice. You have to utilize that roar and stand in your authority and understand that People can't take advantage of you the way that they have anymore. This is this is a really a gonna be a month of you stepping into this newfound freedom, this new portal in collaboration out of this like indecision area and beginning anew. You're gonna be beginning anew. My beautiful, beautiful Leos. This is a new spark, a new fire, new energy in your life. Trust your instincts. Trust your instincts. Stay a little guarded. Really trust your instincts about anybody that you've been feeling off about and know that the chips are going to fall. The light is going to be shown on whatever the fuck has been going on. Okay, so I'm going to pull uh, oracle cards for you all now. Just so you know, my oracle cards are coming out this month. Um, I'm just putting the last finishing touches on them to send them out to the printers and then they will either ship out at the very end of this month and you should be getting them at the end of the month or beginning of December, just in time for the holidays. And I'm super excited. This is the Soul Aligned Oracle deck. So um, get your orders in soon if you would like them uh, for Christmas as a holiday present. 
Okay, Spirit, what other messages do you have for my beautiful Leos this month? What other messages can you share with us? We got Paradox Prime and Cosmic Thread. And then I'm going to pull one of these Oracle cards as well. And let's see, let's get an in-depth message from Spirit. What other messages do you have for us, Spirit? Ooh, you guys got a lot. Okay. So we got yes. Just say yes. Play, have fun, celebrate. Don't be so serious. Yep, protection. Yeah, see, you're needing a bit of protection from, you know, and then here's, again, that solar eclipse. Call back your power, cut the cord, soul retrieval, and then soul family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Okay, so I'm going to start with these ones here. So um, it's time to say yes to yourself. It's time to say yes to an honor the things that your soul is calling for. It's time to say yes to, like, I, I did a whole thing in, in my cosmic newsletter this month, you know, that I channel. It's super extensive. If you're not signed up for it, I highly recommend signing up for it. You get a discount code from your for, for your first order um, when you do, and that will last until the end of the year, and then I'm switching it to just be like a meditation or something that you get for free. But, um, in the whole thing with this, with November, I was really clear on being able to say no to things that weren't in alignment with you anymore, being able to say no when things don't feel right. But this card is saying, say yes to the things that do feel right. Say yes to the to yourself, to honoring who you are and what you truly want and say no to anything else. Just make sure it's a fuck yes, okay? Pardon my French. Um, there is a sense of play here, like, Whatever is about to, if it hasn't come to light yet, whatever is about to come to light, just know that you can grieve and go through whatever it is that you're going through. But when you allow yourself protection and call in your soul family, find some playtime, find some lightheartedness, find yourself again. This is how you're going to find yourself is in play, is in enjoyment, is in being light and connecting with the people that feel like soul family, connecting with your soul sisters and brothers, with your tribe, calling in your tribe. If all of your connections are linked to that person, it's time to separate and then call in the people that are meant for you on your journey at this time. And they will start to show up in the most unique and synchronistic and kismet ways. But allow yourself some protection. If you don't know how to protect your energy or protect yourself, this is about cord cutting and soul retrieval. You can clear that cord of this person that has been deceiving you or lying to you. And then call back any of your energy that you've left with anyone else or with this person and release all of their energy, give it back to them, ask for it to be returned to sender. I also do have a... a course online that you can purchase that is all about protection and casting protection around you. So you can find that on my website um, under e-courses. So there's something with the eclipse here though. So maybe this all is coming to light this month and by the eclipse or maybe coming to light this month by the eclipse, the lunar eclipse. But by the solar eclipse, I'm really feeling like you guys are going to be in your new start. So understand that with eclipse season and with this 1111 portal that we're in today, like everything is happening for a reason. So find lightness, find your tribe, say yes to them, say yes to having fun and getting out of your head as much as possible right now. Everything is amplified in this 1111 frequency too in this portal. So really pay attention to your thoughts and where they're going. Try to stay as positive as possible and really focus on the things that you're wanting to create. So the rest of the message that we got here was Paradox Prime and Cosmic Thread. So just know that you're a limitless being 
dear Leo, you are a limitless being and with hummingbirds, they move upwards, downwards, backwards, forwards, and sideways, and their wings flap in ellipses. They move like this, and they move, and you know, a hundred times a minute or something crazy like that. And look at her. She's kind of doing that same thing. So just know you are connected to all that is. And we live in a limitless universe. There are limitless possibilities. Whatever, whoever this person is that has been deceiving you or lying to you and that judgment that's coming out, karma will pay them back. You don't have to worry about it. You just need to focus on yourself, on your path, where you're going, and know that the paradox of this whole thing is, is that it's aligning you back to your soul truth and back to what is in alignment for you, back to your destined path. You know, you're a cosmic thread and everybody in our chain is helping us get back to our soul's truth, is helping us get back into alignment and back home. And so we have to learn these lessons for our soul's evolution. It's a paradox. It really is. But know that you're cosmically threaded to always be pulled back to the you're always pulled back to soul to your soul's truth back to home your soul base right home base for your soul like back to source energy you can connect back in at any time and the way to do that is to connect with nature the way to do that is to go into silence and spend some time alone and really attune to the frequencies around you, to the birds and the bees, to the bugs. Right now it's snowing outside. Like we went on a walk and it was so quiet and just like the crunching of my boots under the snow, you know, was very, it was such like a visceral feeling, like feeling the snow on my like eyelashes and, and when it would hit my face, you know, and it was just, it was beautiful. And we were out for almost an hour just walking around in the snow. And so, you know, it's like, you don't have to listen to music. You can just be and know that that, if you're present through that, that's, that can be meditation. You don't have to sit in silence and sit in stillness to meditate, you know, to receive. So just know that everything's happening for you right now, beautiful Leo, for you and your greater good. Okay, and so the last card I'm gonna pull is going to be a gemstone card. What gemstone would best support my beautiful Leos this month, Spirit? What is the best gemstone to support my beautiful Leos? You guys got a few of them. You got fuchsite, hematite, apatite, and pyrite. So pyrite is fool's gold, right? This is a money stone, an abundant stone. This is um, a really great stone also to ground you. And because this stone and pyrite and hematite are both metallic and reflective, hematite is known as a psychic stone, but it's also highly, highly protective and it's magnetic. But because both of these are reflective, anything that is not your energy or that does not belong to you can be reflected back. Like hematite is one of the best grounding and um, protection stones out there. This is my favorite one to wear. I'm actually wearing a piece right now. Um, this is my uh, protection crystal. This is clear quartz with hematite inside. And when hematite actually sets, it's black and metallic, but when it is heated up and, and being created in the earth within uh, clear quartz, it turns like a pink or a purple. And so this is the stone that I created for my own psychic protection. I think it's called a psychic shield or, or protective shield necklace. This baby here, not only does the clear quartz amplify the hematite, but this little sucker is like the best protection stone anytime I'm feeling like I'm under psychic attack or like I'm taking on too many energies because I'm out in the world too much or like engaging with too many people and like because I'm an empath and I feel everything I, I put this on and it literally absorbs everything and like clears my field completely and I create a level of 
like an orb of protection of this around me too, because that's how powerful it is. So you can also purchase this piece on my site. It's up and ready for purchase, but we also have fuchsite and appetite. So this is a green stone fuchsite and appetite is kind of a blue green stone. So these will help to not only activate and clear your heart center, but your throat chakra as well. Um, fuchsite is the happy stone. Again, playfulness, finding your happy place, and then appetite, your gateway to the subconscious. So this will also help to activate your third eye as well and your throat to be able to speak your truth. So if you do not have any of these or all of these in your collection, please support a local gem shop and go get yourself one or support a local retailer, a small retailer on Etsy. Um, or I can actually, if you want to support my small business, I can make you something with one of these stones or a channeled stone that is channeled just for you and your higher self and your soul and what you're needing on your path right now. So I can create a piece for you um, to wear or to have in your home. Uh, so please support local, please support small businesses this holiday season. And if you guys want to support my channel anymore, I do have a PayPal. If this was helpful, you can donate something. You don't have to, but it is always welcome and graciously accepted. Um, you can also donate something on my Amazon wish list if you would like me to use a new deck that you really like. Um, in one of these readings, uh, I do have a bunch of decks on there that you can purchase and have sent to me. And then if this was helpful to you, please like it and subscribe to the channel to help my alg algorithm. And please share this with a friend. Also watch your own um, rising and moon signs as well to see the fullness of what is in store for you this month. And I think that's all I have for you guys. I love you so much. Mwah! Oh, and if it's 1111, today is the 1111 portal. I'm going to be doing a little card reading for 1111 today. But I will also have a meditation, an 1111 portal activation meditation on my Patreon. So you can hit that up a little bit later too to do later on this evening for your own 1111 manifestation uh, ritual. All right, guys. Have a good one. Oceans of love. Ciao.